moving on this morning to our third coach, the head coach of the Kennesaw State Owls, Coach Brian Bohannon. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Mark. KSU went to open date last Saturday. If you can open up and talk about how the week went and uh, for the guys and getting a little healthier on Saturday, we'll start taking questions and talk about the team. Well, we, uh, we took Monday and Tuesday off, practice Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we took Saturday and Sunday off, and then we're back at it yesterday. Um, you know, we had five starters out. I'm hoping to get four of the five back. Uh, our quarterback, Trey White, uh, will not play Saturday, um, but I hope the rest of them will be back um, as we go on the road to play Duquesne, who's a playoff team and won their league three years in a row and really good football program that plays really well at home. So uh, it was good for us uh, to get a little, to get these guys healthy and hopefully we can have everybody, excluding Trey, ready to go, ready to play, and uh, we've got a great challenge as we go on the road. All right, Coach, we'll start taking questions for Kennesaw State Head Coach Brian Bohannon. Press star one on your phone at any time, or put the Q&A link near the top of the browser. Put the raise hand when it's Coach, you uh, alluded to game success in the past. What are some of the personnel folks that stand out to you and will be a challenge for the Owls this Saturday? Well, obviously on offense, they got a senior quarterback that's played a lot of football for them. He's a really good player. Uh, their running back is the stats FCS National Player of the Week uh, for his game against uh, against Dayton last week. I think he had close to 200 yards. Defensively, they got the all-everything outside linebacker, Christian Koontz, who's preseason all-watch, all-everything. Um, they're really a good football team. They're well-coached. They play hard. Um, you know, under their current head coach in the last 12 years, they're 21-2 and two at home versus non-conference opponents. So it's uh, – they're a really good football team. They're well coached. They play well at home, and uh, I think it's a great challenge for our football program with the young with the young kids we have um, going on the road and 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 having a chance to play a playoff team. And uh, so we're excited about excited about the opportunity, and uh, looking forward to it. You mentioned Trey White's going to be out this week. We have Chandler Burst filling nice team too. But, uh, you know how this extra week helps Chandler and, and more. Um, as well as the offense, getting more comfortable with him behind him. Well, I think our guys are pretty comfortable with him. Um, he's very confident in what he's doing. Um, I think, obviously, the, the extra week, the reps, um, one thing we've really had to focus on here, and I'm sure it's everybody in America, but with such a young football team, it, it, we we, we got to do the best job we can and not beating ourselves. You know, we, we can't afford to go out and make mistakes and uh, – you know, and beat ourselves, and that's really what we've been focusing on the off week. Uh, whoever's at quarterback is whoever's at quarterback, but uh, we've really focused on not beating ourselves and uh, just being really focused on the job at hand and giving ourselves the best opportunity to be successful. And uh, last question for you um, before we turn it over. To other questions. Um, heading out on the road for the first time this year, kind of what I asked Coach Nichols about being at home for the first time. Just what the travel itinerary is for the trip up north? Well, this will be our first flight. Um, you know, we haven't flown. Last year we didn't fly anywhere. Um, obviously, it's our first road game this year. So we're going to fly to Pittsburgh. We'll fly out Friday afternoon. And, uh, you know, we'll probably have maybe 20 kids or so. Never been on a flight before. So uh, just as everything we do here is a new program, a young program, um, you're knocking out all the first you can to get it behind you. Um, but our director of football operations, Jay Bailey, does a great job. He's prepared for everything. So we'll we'll fly out, and, and, and as always, uh, we have to limit the distractions and remember why we're going where we're going, and we talk about it being a business trip, and uh, we have a task at hand, and so we just got to eliminate the distractions. But uh, but we've got everything for, mapped out as far as what we're doing. We'll fly to Pittsburgh, get on normal routine Friday night. This will be our first day game as well. So uh, we'll get up and get ready to go uh, Saturday morning and uh, and hopefully have a good day. Good. Coach, uh, next question for you from Nick Pierce of the Liberty Flame Sports Network. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, good morning. Um, I, I, you may have already mentioned this with, with Trey, but uh, if, you, if you did, I'm sorry I missed it. But uh, is there a timetable on when he's going to be back? And then also, second part of that, just kind of evaluate where you guys are just collectively after three weeks, two games. Well, first of all, I don't know exactly when Trey's going to be back. He's rehabbing, and that, that'll just run its course. And when he's ready to go and he can practice during the week, um, then we'll address that kind of at that time. 
Uh, where we are as a program, I think, uh, I think to be honest with you, we're going to find out more this week about where we are and, and how we're moving forward as a program. Um, obviously, when you look at the first two games, um, we suffered a, a tough loss to a really good ETSU team. Of, many of you probably noticed went and won the next week as well. Um, and then we, you know, we played a team that we should have beaten, and we did. Um, so I think we're going on the road. We're playing a team that made the playoffs last year. I think we're going to find out more after this week about the steps we're taking as a program uh, really to evaluate than, than you can right now. I mean, we played two games, two different opponents, um, and we've had an off week. So uh, I think this game uh, is going to tell a little more. I, I told some of the guys that, you know, I believe, you know, you got a chance to go play a playoff team on the road. That is a little bit of a measuring stick, especially for a, a program, you know, that's going into their 14th game, you know, ever played. You're going to find out a little bit about who you are, what you are, where you're going, and how you're, how you're going about your business. So I think this is going to be a little bit of a measuring stick for where we are. Thank you. Okay. Coach, I'm not asking any more questions for you, so we'll let you go. Thanks for joining us. Good luck Saturday at the game. Okay, thanks, Mark.